Yes, I think so. Uh, it's, it's pretty positive, and not only in Tanzania. Uh, we have, for example, uh, in Ghana, we yeah, have nearly every uh, African country working, and especially in Ghana, the experts in Kufur, um, he came even to Berlin and spoke about African social market uh, economy on a high level conference in Berlin and tried to, to pr promote this uh, economic system. And uh, even here in Tanzania, we just started this year, more or less, with uh, raising this topic. and. We started with the visit of the former German president, Mr. Köhler, who has been as well the director of the IMF. And we had a, a conference in Dar es Salaam raising this issue. And uh, the feedback was very positive. There are a lot of, of people from all sectors uh, coming back to us, asking f uh, what, uh, what it is about. Uh, we have uh, people from the university asking us if we could provide some material to learn more about the social market economy thing. So I think we have just started a de debate and um, a discussion and we'd like to, to promote it and to go, to go on with it. You mentioned uh, former Federal Republic of Germany President yeah. Kohler visit mm -hmm. to Tanzania. Yeah. Um, he, what contribution did he make to the East African bloc mm. in, in, terms of, in, ter in terms of social market economy and, and integration? Yeah. Uh, he, had, he had two two very important points. One was social market economy, uh, which he presented uh, his point of view in a conference in Dar es Salaam, and then together we went to Arusha and we had a meeting and a conference with the East African community and the Secretary General Sesibera, mm -hmm. and we talked about the East African community, the development. Um, yeah, I mean. The same problem, huh? You have uh, what you have in the Tanzanian constitution. It's you, you don't know if it's really always put into practice. The same you have in the East African community. I mean, you have everything in paper. You have a t trade union. You have a common market. But if you see what's happening, the lorries are, are trying to come over to Tanzania. Have to stop for days. So this is not about uh, uh, common market. So there's a lot. It, it's about, and this was what uh, the message what uh, Mr. Köhler delivered was really. It's now you have done a great job. Uh, you have agreed. You have put it into paper now. It's about implementation, 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 and to make sure that what you have agreed is put into practice. Social market economy um, advocates for does not advocate for protectionism. It's something that uh, it does not yeah. agree that, mm -hmm. but. In, li in light of the recent uh, grain, grain uh, ban export mm. in Tanzania, yeah. surely governments have to, have to protect mm. the internal market and supply mm. when times, are, when, when not all the time, but when times are, are hard, mm. like now when there's a drought in the East African yeah. bloc. So the government has defended its, its, its position on, 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 on banning mm. um, export grain. Mm. Uh, yet, you say um, uh, pro protectionism is 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 is, is and, and not an, it should not be. It's it's not not part of the social market economy. Mm. But um, I mean, this has to handle flexible in a, in a way because mm. now you have a, a special situation and it's mm. questionable if mm. you maybe for for the time being you need mm. uh, a measurement like this. Mm. I, I won't judge on it. I mean, even. Coming back to the East African community, Mr. Köhler, and maybe even international trade relationships and the European Union, mm. the, the agricultural market of the European Union mm. is heavily uh, protected. Yeah, 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 yes. I so I mean, this is not if, if you. If, but this is. I mean, if you had really a functioning social or international social market economy, uh, economy in place, mm. so you have to speak about it, and you have to see that you have to create open markets. Okay. But I mean, of course, this is the objective, a long way to run, mm. but uh, nothing is perfect, Frank, and we have to work on ourselves, I know. And this is what a very clear message uh, Mr. Köhler delivered as well, huh? to, to say that um, we have to work on our part heavily as well. How do you strike a balance between a free market economy whereby um, actors mm. act, you know, the market forces determine a lot of things mm. when in a free market economy? Yeah as opposed to government regulation. Government regulation is important, as we've seen with the, with the, with the recent uh, world um, mm. financial and, 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 and housing, uh, housing crisis. Yeah. But then there should be, wh where does government regulation stop mm. and free market continue so that the regulation, the interference, the, the regulation of government is not, is not seen as mm. interfering and hampering um, competition. Yeah, this is the well, well, maybe I should just interject yeah, this for Stefan says. Yeah. <laughs> You've touched on the very essence of social market economy. Mm. We had a crunch, economic 
meltdown, as they call it. Why? If you look deeper, it isn't the regulation, it isn't the government, but it's the actors who decided to forget ethics, forget values, and then go for something which is not there. Look at the banking sector. They had some credit facilities which shock everybody after mm -hmm. that. Why? Because they left their ethics, their values, how a bank should operate. Same thing with the real estate. Subprime, whatever, you know, some new names were created. And if you look at the aftermath and the reports which came out, we had very interesting vocabulary. Toxic accounts. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how do you relate toxic and, 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 and banking? Mm -hmm. But that was a reflection of how far away mm -hmm. from the values these people went. Yeah. And I'm not saying that that was the only reason, mm -hmm. but it shows that countries which remained within their value systems mm -hmm. did not suffer so much. Mm -hmm. They did stabilize quickly mm -hmm. and the impact was not so big. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's there. I mean, if we respect the values and the ethics and the government does its job, of regulating and not interfering, then we'll get there. Yeah. This crisis happened, in our point of view, uh, not because of the international uh, market system, mm. but because they, the, the actors didn't stick to the, to the values and the ethics of a social market. So there was really some. I mean, if you if you if you see, there was some the, the housing issue in the United States, and the risk was transferred, and some financial instruments, and and yeah, these toxic papers. Then all the yeah all over the world it was sold. So this is not about values and ethics. So this is really contradictory to what we are promoting, because the social market economy really is based on on values and on ethics. So, and this is exactly what, why we are fighting for after the financial and economic worldwide crisis for an international social market economy, which is based on, on values okay. and which is for the benefit of all or not of a few. Okay. I want to talk about the, cons the ongoing constitutional reform process. Yeah. And I know you, uh, the Conrad Adenauer Stiftung had a had, uh, contribution to the constitution in Kenya. Hmm. What, how, what can... What, first of all, what is your your uh, contribution in Tanzania, and what can we learn from from the Kenyan process to have to ensure a smooth um, a smooth path towards mm. a new constitution here? Yeah. Um, what we can do is create an, a forum for debate and discussion because we we are convinced that the constitution is for everybody. So if you want to have a new constitution, you have to make sure that everybody is every citizen is able to participate, to understand, and to participate in the debate. So what we are trying is to to really to offer a forum where all representatives of civil society, political parties, uh, whoever wants to participate, students. Uh, normal citizen. It was very interesting. We had this conference and uh, many participants introduced themselves as um, in Tanzania kwa kawaida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we had a very interesting debate mm -hmm. and this is uh, our contribution, I would say. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, if we are asked, we could uh, facilitate expert, uh, connect experts, uh, bringing experts from Kenya, just from the, you, you mentioned it, we had a constitutional reform process mm -hmm. in other African countries. So if there's a need, if the people would like to have this um, expertise, of course we would be able to, to connect people mm -hmm. and to connect the people who are working here on this process, mm -hmm. people who have already experience in other